Hey, gals and guys, it's Chris Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com and kind of a weird video, I suppose. So I go to this site here, and this is the first product that I was sent. You can go to this site and sign up and request products to review. And um, I did just that. And what I got is um, some watercolors. So I got this uh, Royal and Lang Nickel Pearl Ascent watercolor cake set. So I'm going to try that out. And then I got um, two packs of brushes, which I'm going to try out. And I was trying to think, well, how can I mesh this in with technology, right? This is more of a technology entertainment channel than a, it's not a painting channel. <laughs> I'm not Bob Ross. Um, so what I'm going to do is watercolor on this paper and then scan it and then use it for a thumbnail for um, like YouTube or, or another social media. So that's what I'm going to do as far as that's concerned. So uh, let's check this stuff out and see how it works. All right. So let's get into this. If we can. All right. This does come with a little brush. A little itty. Yeah, it'd be a cute little brush. Oh, jeez. I can get it out. Tape on it. <laughs> so I'm going to try a big brush to start with. So I'm not going to use all of these. I'll just use a couple. Well, that's pretty cool. It's got a little, um, what do you ever, what do you call it there? I don't know, it's a pocket, I suppose. I'll use this brush. It's kind of stiff. So, and then I got my water here. And let's decide what color. I think I'm going to do purple. So let me just do this. I haven't watercolored in years, I think since I was a kid. So this should be interesting. So we'll put water in here. And then we'll do that. So just gonna kind of going forward. Goes on pretty good. Looks good. You gotta be careful how much water you put in there. I'm gonna put too much water in there. Looks nice, looks pretty. It's pretty easy to use. Remember those, when I was a kid, you'd get those kits, you get, um, you get watercolors and it came with like a coloring book or something. They were cheap, they were cheap ass. <laughs> they were cheap ass paint, but this is really nice. This goes on nice. All right, so I want to think I want it thicker here. I want it really purple on the edge. Just kind of make it less as you go. And then I'll do another color on the other side. Now, I'm sure you can do all this stuff with Photoshop, but I got to try out the paints. That's what we got so far. And then do another color on the other side. I think I'll do like a pink, a hot pink or something like that. So that's what I kind of what I'm going for. And once I scan it, I think you'll understand. 
mean, I'm sure you people out there can do like trees and <laughs> other stuff like that. I, I'm Okay, so I'm going to finish that up. So something else I did, I'll let that dry. So something else I got is um, I printed out this. So I'm going to give this a try. I'll actually start with that color, one of the balloons. Let's see how it goes. Probably need a smaller brush. Uh, we'll try to stay in the lines. All right, looks good. I did one balloon. <laughs> I'll do one more balloon. I'm not going to do the whole thing. purple because I already used purple. And we'll do the blue next to it. This goes on very nice. These brushes are good too. Um, I'm not gonna I don't want to waste all the brushes. I'm assuming they're all of the all the same. Because usually when I get brushes I get cheap ass brushes in the the fibers come out or whatever you call it. I'm not sure what you call it. But these are very nice. All right. All right. There we go. That's the extent of that. So I'm going to finish this up and then we're going to scan it and then we're going to make a thumbnail out of it. So once you scan it, uh, I'm assuming if you have a scanner, or take a picture of it. Uh, the best you can either way and what you got on your computer this is what it looks like and you're saying big wow chris i mean you can do so many funky things with this it's kind of straightforward but once you get the elements in place it looks pretty good so here's the here's the opening title i got the background and get the next page so it looks very cool i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some more of these and um there you go. It'd be great at Easter time. <laughs> so that's that's kind of the idea I had, and I'm going to play around with that a little more and see what kind of backgrounds I can do. Um, these are mostly pastels. They look mostly pastels. They're really good, uh, as I said. Uh, they got good colors, and, and it goes on very well. These brushes are awesome. So typically when I have a brush and I, and I wipe it off, there's always bristles that come off it. Um, I mean, I think I get fairly good brushes at times. Um, you know, you get the ones with the kits and then you get the individual ones at the art store. And I've used them before and always the, the fibers come out. So these did not come out and I, I wiped them off several times and not once did any of the fibers come out. So I would recommend them. Uh, that's what this, this kind of a two tier kind of video to how to do a background for your, for your thumbnails and also to review these products. Uh, because I have to review it for uh, this site. I actually have to upload the video. All right, gals and guys, I hope that gave you some ideas. And um, as far as your thumbnails are concerned, uh, some, something different you can do, and a little project you can do around the house. We'll get our artsy fartsy. And that's about it, gals and guys. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for putting up with this video. I know it's unusual. It's kind of an unusual video, but um, I don't know. I had fun doing it. All right, if you could please subscribe and like and share and hit the bell for updates, I would appreciate it, and uh, I will catch you later. Bye-bye.